Hey guys, it's Mongolia Mindset, and today we have one of our members, and we're going to help them find their personality type. Um, man, you don't have to go into anything you're not comfortable with, but what you do say we'll use to find your best fit type. With that, you can do whatever you need. Uh, can you introduce yourself? I already know your type already, but go, go, go for it. All right. Um, so my name is uh, Gail, and I'm a philosophy student in uh, grad school working on my master's degree. Um, I hope someday to actually get a PhD in continental philosophy. And uh, I've been basically not so much into typology. Yes, I am into typology, but more into like the analytic psychology side of things because it helps understand the cognitive science and understanding uh, the ego, which helps us to find out uh, ways of theoretical knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, how long have you been in the typology, like into typology in general? So it's kind of funny uh, because like when I was 17, I took the uh, MBTI for the first time. I scored uh, INTJ during that time, mm -hmm. but I didn't really care so much for I forgot about it. Then about two or three years ago, I kind of picked it back up because there's someone I was dating at the time who was really much into it. And uh, so then I started reading a lot of the material, uh, Young, uh, KRC, um, I think I've read a little bit of the Barons, uh, Gurdjieff, uh, Opinski from, um, you know, those two from Enneagram and so on. So I'd have to say realistically probably about three years. Three years. Man, you're, you're pretty, uh, pretty well studied. I love, I mean, I'm just, um, I'm reading Kersey's book now. Please understand me too. It's actually a really good book. Yes. Uh, especially with like uh, Steve Montgomery kind of help file it down and not make it super um, abstract, which INTPs can fucking do and make it fucking hell to read their books. Um, <laughs> absolute yeah. hell. Um, so I'm thankful for that. Um, uh, is it worse than ENTP's books? Huh? Isn't BB ENTP? Is it the worst? Are their books worse than ENTP? I'm not going to talk about John BB's type here. It's not a setup for you to get me. <laughs> Won't get me. Nice try, motherfucker. Nice try. No, you like, Use just your brain. Like, about stuff. I was trying to Use read your book. brain. Huh? Use your brain. Use the information I just told you. What does this book sound like to you? Mm. Okay. I know, you just uh, like info. Way too much info. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so use your brain. But uh, back to uh, Dale here. Uh, Dale, um, what do you want to be a member for, man? What I want to be a member uh, for? I enjoy um, just seeing... The perspectives of others not always uh well i don't like to engage actively a lot unless there's like a really interesting topic um but you know just seeing people's perspectives getting the information i need in order to get the uh, principles to understand the systems uh, better which i think for me the way i uh, learn is i like to look for the first principles and from there i build and in that way um I guess it's kind of described as by Jung as the rationalistic type temperament, mm -hmm. as yep. opposed to the TE empiricist. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, you definitely sound like. Um, I mean, I already knew you typed when you came in here, but uh, <laughs> you just proved my point. But uh, <laughs> um, so uh, let's go here. Uh, you get that. Um, what's something that stresses you out? Something that stresses me out. So this is something that I do sometimes, but I just don't like to uh, talk about so much. What stresses me out is when people kind of get close-minded to uh, different uh, ideas, because, like, uh, you know, there's things that are below the surface, which. Uh, you know, we have to kind of learn in order to be sure of things. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Um, what does a normal week look like for you? Well, being in uh, grad school, a lot of it's like study, study, study. Um, right now I'm taking a course on logic. So a lot of that is like me basically practicing through the uh, study material, even though I kind of already know the material very well. Uh, I'm actually mildly autistic and I've always been you know, obsessed with uh, logic. I mean, like when I say mildly autistic, I mean actual, not so much like those who you know, claim it, but don't actually have a diagnosis. Mm -hmm. So for me, uh, there's that. Then I also kind of work doing um, Uber Eats. So I can set my schedule and that's pretty nice. Okay. Uh, so you, you you got into philosophy. What attracted you to philosophy? So um, ever since I was young, I loved the idea of wisdom. Uh, but when I was like 14 years old, my brother, um, he was very much into Machiavelli. He tried to get me into Machiavelli as well, but I found a book of like by Marcus Aurelius, the meditations. Mm -hmm. And I realized, okay, well, there's a lot of wisdom here. So after that, I just started exploring, exploring, exploring. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there like a specific thing that attracts you to it or anything? Uh, yeah, I think the thing that really attracted me to it was um, within a few books of reading, I read the discourses of Epictetus, and he mm -hmm. talked about the importance of logic, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you're going to try to study uh, abstract things like politics and uh, he said ethics, but um, so stuff like that. Just the idea of, you know, I can look for these principles and uh, basically have a good grasp on things. Okay. Um, how do you go about learning something new? I look for something new. Um, that's a good question. I keep my mind open. I look at this uh, subject or object. Then I start questioning my mind uh, stuff like, I wonder if um, this does this or if this does this. I wonder if I had this assumption, would it uh, come up with this type of uh, you know, results? Uh, so basically, I try to put what philosophers call the dialectical analysis upon things. Okay. Okay. Um... What are your goals for 2024? 2024. My goals are basically to just go ahead and get started on my thesis. Mm -hmm. Because like, uh, I'm actually so close to actually finishing this program. I have like three more classes left and I have like a max of three semesters to uh, basically write the thesis. Mm -hmm. um, so, um... Just in general, like, uh, what do you hope to do with like your philosophy doctorate? Let's say you're a doctor in philosophy, like, or what are you expecting to do? What am I expecting to do? I would actually realistically say uh, research, like mm -hmm. getting a job with research, perhaps someday uh, get involved with writing books and teaching. Even though I'm not really a good teacher, like people get in like annoyed. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Why, <Yeah. laughs> Why do you think people get annoyed? Part of it is um, I like to deep dive. Uh, secondly, um, I'm radically introverted, and I'm saying introverted in the sense of, uh, you know, the big five type description. Um, so I get drained quickly, uh, which actually can come off as me getting a little irritated. I think um, another uh, aspect of that is I just can't read people's body language very well. I like no matter how much I try. <laughs> uh, uh, how do you feel about being around people? It depends. Like if someone, if I know someone very well, 
I will uh, be able to approach them just fine, you know, uh, be on good terms with uh, the person. Uh, if someone's very emotional, I'm terrible at dealing with emotional uh, type stuff, but um, for the most part, I kind of just avoid people. <laughs> Um, so when people are emotional, like, what does it do to you? Confuses me, basically. Because, like, uh, I think everyone can be emotional. But what I try to do is I try to keep a clear mind. And uh, if I'm interacting with someone, I um, try to give people the benefit of the doubt. But... But when people are emotional, they don't really give people the benefit of the doubt, and they don't really listen to reason. Okay. Okay. Um, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? 10 years, that's a tough question. There's so many things that could possibly happen. Mm -hmm. But what I would hope for is, of course, getting my uh, PhD, perhaps um, getting started on... Um, getting the steps I need for uh, getting the uh, jobs I want, getting the good amount of learning. But for me, I'm very much a flexible type of person. So that probably won't happen uh, the way I want it to happen, but it should happen if I uh, you know, uh, truly understand the things. Okay. Uh, if like money wasn't an option, what would you do? money wasn't an option, I would uh, try to fund uh, as much uh, book uh, stores and uh, basically buy um, all the books I could, especially upon like the types of topics I enjoy, such as philosophy, psychology, uh, cognitive science, and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, if you people were, let's just say, for instance, people were going around and they were like, hey, everybody has to contribute something. What do you think would be the best thing you could contribute to a society? Well, for me, I'm an ideas guy. So if I had anything to contribute, it would be uh, a better understanding of the principles behind things such as politics or uh, philosophy or something like that. What are some behaviors that anger you? What is that? Behaviors that upset you or anger you? Oh, um, for me, of course, I had already mentioned closed mindedness. Um, uh, another behavior I think would be, uh, even though I do get a little bit arrogant at times, I think if other people are arrogant as well. So I guess when Jung talks about the shadow, it usually it's stuff that you uh, see in others that are actually true of you. <laughs> and uh, also for me, another behavior would be like basically if someone does not have the ability to engage directly with me because I cannot, um, you know, understand social cues very well at all. So it's like, if you want to interact with me, it's like, okay, so just tell me. <laughs> um, hmm. What are three words to describe you as a person? Inquisitive. That's definitely a big one. Um, I am uh, a little bit imaginative and uh, or I'm going to throw in a negative one just to toss it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, the negative uh, aspect of me would be sometimes a procrastinator. Mm -hmm. Actually, a lot of times. But <laughs> okay. uh, what do you think is something that holds you back? Well... For what would hold me back, of course, um, the fact that I procrastinate is one of them. Another thing, of course, if we're talking about 
inside society, my difficulty uh, dealing with people's uh, emotions and so on. Because, like, you know, you kind of have to interact with people at some point, even if you want to, uh, you know, be a hermit. Like, I kind of like being. Mm -hmm. How do you behave when you get angry? How do I behave when I get angry? Yeah. Um, well, what I try to do is withdraw from the situation. But if someone doesn't allow me to withdraw, I'll probably end up uh, getting louder and trying to get them to back off. But that usually doesn't happen. That's only happened like uh, five or six times in, in my life. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, what's something that like genuinely like is something that makes you happy as a person? Well, what makes me happy as a person, genuinely speaking, is um, this should not come as a surprise, but learning uh, new stuff and basically like completing the puzzle of knowledge. Like I enjoy doing these systematic studies of different uh, things and buying new books so I can actually think about them. Do you ever feel like people are having negative thoughts towards you? People having negative thoughts towards me? Probably, but I usually just don't care because uh, if anything, I can just avoid those people or uh, yeah. just do go about my day. Okay, I'm going to give you a tip. Uh, I don't think people are actually <laughs> thinking the negative things you think they are. <laughs> we already know your type, so yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Um, so, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, do you ever think that you uh, are wasting uh, someone's time? I don't think I waste people's times, but uh, I think possible others might get irritated with uh, me being like principles, principles, principles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you were on a team, uh, what role do you think you would play? If I'm on a team, uh, I think of myself deeply as the idealist guy. So what I do is um, try to be uh, the subtle brains of the operation. I would not see myself in the sense of uh, the, the leader, but more like an advisor. Mm. Shelly, you ready? Yeah. All righty, man. Uh, that's pretty, pretty, like I said, we knew immediately going in. <laughs> okay. Um, you have a, a, a study in philosophy. Philosophy is generally speaking um, an abstract subject. So I'm going to hit you there for abstract. Um, you talked about theoretical knowledge. That's going to be at, um, NT, um, abstraction right there. Um, seeing the perspectives of others, that's going to be N-E, um, S-I, more N-E. Um, getting to the principles to understanding your principles, like to apply them damn principles to everything. Um, that's introverted thinking or T-I, so hitch for T-I-F-E. You don't like closed-minded people, so basically you don't like N-I users. <laughs> Strong N-I users, um, and that's generally you'll see with uh, any users, you know, they don't want you to really close anything off. Like they want you to be more open-minded. So, uh, assess with knowledge. So I'm going to hit you with NT and Enneagram five. Okay. Um, likes Uber eats for the freedom. You like the freedom of the schedule and everything. So, uh, I hit you for pragmatic there. Um, you're always looking for principles, applying principles, TI again. Um, I wonder if this, I wonder if that, I wonder if this, and then you talked about reaching a, a result. So a results, generally speaking, um, you can replace for outcome. Okay. So mm -hmm. your results oriented. So that means you're outcome driven. Um, um, radically introverted. I get drained quickly. So that's going to be responding. Also, Enneagram 5 um, SP generally is the one that has that problem. The more, the most five of the fives. 
Um, so um, avoid people in general because of emotions. So you're running away from FE inferior there. Um, I would highly recommend uh, you be around more people. It'll help you with um, um, introverted, I mean, extroverted feeling. It will help you deal with it and slowly you'll get better and better. If you keep running, you'll always be running. Um, you said I'm an ideas man. So basically you generate ideas. That's brainstorming. That's extroverted intuition. Uh, you like the principle behind things. Again, TI, difficulty dealing with people's emotions because of FE inferior. Learning new things makes you happy. Uh, systematic studies. So I hit you for an Enneagram 5 there. And I also hit you for uh, systematic there. So uh, you're also responding and informative. So with all that being said, we have you as an INTP. Um Enneagram 5, W6, um, SP slash SO. Um, the SO ones are the ones that kind of like chasing those PhDs and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Anything? Yeah, I actually would say that's very incredibly close to how I view myself too. Although uh -huh. I was never really like uh, knowledgeable on the instincts of the Enneagram. So mm -hmm. I was always confused on you know SPSO uh, and the other one too. So oh well, yeah. I mean, check it out. Uh, usually the most five is five, or like the general INTP that everyone sees. Um, that's like basically don't want to deal with people, want to do their own thing, live in their own world. Um, generally speaking, are the SP ones okay? Um, the social ones are the ones that like chase degrees and stuff like that. Uh, can be a little bit more extroverted. And then you have the sexual one that almost sometimes come off like a force sometimes. Um, more like one on one interaction. SP like I don't want any interaction. And then social like like more people. Um, but that's just a little quick rundown. Um, but uh, yeah, you got any questions? Anything? So you you knew you were an INTP? Yeah, like. Um... My journey towards that type of knowledge, um, like INTJ, it didn't really fit for me because, like, I didn't really understand the uh, perceptive functions very well. Mm -hmm. um, like, so I thought, you know, and I, uh, any, I didn't really uh, understand that. I didn't understand the SI or SC very well. Uh, you know, first off, so, but I thought, you know, either INTP or INFJ uh, sounded great because I knew I had great TI. Mm -hmm. um, but I knew I had too much TI for the INFJ and NI when I started understanding it. I'm like, okay, there's no way I can have NI. <laughs> um, yeah. NI is uh, very close-minded. It's always refining things down. So <laughs> it's uh, be very, very close-minded people. Very I can be like that, I, um, especially when I was younger. It was like, uh, now nah, I've kind of, with age, I've learned to be a lot more open-minded. But generally speaking, it was like, it's this way. And a lot of times, if I'm annoyed, it will be, I will go back to it's, uh, this way. No other way. Fuck your possibilities. <laughs> Part of that's also your TE, too, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's also that. Um but yeah, man, you're a cool guy, man. I, I enjoy being around people like you. You guys offer great ideas, great suggestions, and things that really change a lot of things, whether you realize it or not, um, especially for us uh, closed-minded people. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes people have to have a little bit of a fight in order to open things up sometimes, unfortunately, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can always throw me a suggestion, anything you think um I can improve on in the group or anything. Just let me know. I enjoy um, getting insights from you guys. That's you guys awesome. see uh, things that really change the outcome really well, you know, because mm -hmm. you got you, your personality type is known for getting the best possible outcome. So. Yeah. Shelly, you got anything, any advice you want to give them? Uh, no, not really. Just... No. Even though you're still INTP and your boyfriend's an INTP, uh, yeah. my brain is not online yet. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, man, Dale has been an absolute pleasure, man. Um, lo uh, look forward to seeing you in the group. Um, but uh, we're on to the next one, man. Take it easy, brother. You too.
ਠੀਕ ਹੈ